questions. Everybody ready? Lane, you good? All right, Coach. Well, I tell you this. I'm I'm so proud of um, these young men. They're, they're very resilient. Very resilient. They didn't flinch. Came out when everything happened this past weekend. Went out to practice on Sunday, and they ran the hardest they possibly could on Sunday. They wanted to show we are Florida State. We are unconquered. Coach, we got your back, man. That's what they showed me. And a lot of them came up to me and, and, and said, Coach, we got your back. And they showed me by going out, running hard, and practicing hard on Sunday. And also, I just want to thank David Coleman and the president for believing in me. Again, they asked me. I didn't blink eye. This is my school. I love it. School has done a lot for me. Has done a lot for Odell Hagen. Thank you very much, Mr. Colby and John Thrasher, for believing in me. All right, questions? Wait. Coach, what was the mood like after the game in the locker room? And what did you say to the guys? The, the mood in the locker room was great. It was it, it was out. It, it was great. The kids had a feeling. Coach, they showed me. They didn't just say, it. "Coach, we got your back." They showed me. And the mood. It was. It's hard to explain when you're a Seminole and you see kids fight for you, going went through adversity of some something like that happened last Sunday. It's, it's so hard to explain, but the move was great. Each and every player in there, they showed Florida State, hey, I love this school. We're gonna fight for Florida State and fight for you, coach. It was outstanding. All right. Odell, not just the um, adversity with the coaching situation, but you guys had a lot of players out. Marvin was out. Several other players on both sides of the ball were out. What did you see from this team in terms of the way they just battled through the adversity? Like I said, our Sunday they showed me when they came out to practice. These kids really care about their school. They love Florida State. Florida State is different. Different. Reason why I say that, look at me. I've had a lot of opportunities. But you know what, though? stay at my school and do the best with my school. Prime example, once you're a Seminole, you're always a Seminole. You love this school, and this school going to love you. Bob? Coach, at what point in the week did you know you are going to use Jordan Travis, and what was kind of the plan going in? Well, Kendall, I told Kendall Brothers, he said something to me about it. I said, Kendall, run your offense. You make that decision. Let's go with it. I support you. And went to Jordan this month. Hey, you're a Seminole, brother. Our standards here are very high. You get in there, you make the plays, you do what you're supposed to do, and left it at that. Sean? Coach, we saw the team get in a situation where they had some early adversity and then bounced back, and then the, team, the other team punched back, and then they had to bounce back again at the end. That's sort of swing back and forth swinging. And that's something that we haven't really seen from the team be able to come out on top of this season. I guess what did it say about the guys at this time that they were able to rally to come out on top, especially with everything that's been going on this week? Yeah. The young man, I, I, I'll say this right here. We got some great kids on this team, football team. We, we have great kids. And a lot of people want to count them out, but they want to show the nation we are Florida State. And Reed, like I told you, once you sign at Florida State University, it's different. People can say what they want to say about Florida State. You sign here, you fight for something. Odell, uh, Hamza Nazarene finishes with 20, I guess, tw upwards of 20 tackles. Uh, his physicality against that the running attack, what did, he, what did he do so well for you guys today? You know what he did? He made a commitment Sunday. 
He said, Coach, we're not going anywhere. Coach, this week of practice, I'm going to have a great week of practice. I'm coming downhill. Don't worry, Coach. He said that. And the guy said to me, there's only one way. In no way. N-O-L-E. And they believe that. Only one way. The no way. So Hampson made a commitment Sunday. He's one of the guys that came up to me and said that. So I appreciate him. A great, great guy hung in there with us. One of the leaders on his team. All right. Uh, could you talk about the last DJ's play? Uh, you know, they had tied it up, and uh, DJ has that ability, but he hasn't been able to show it necessarily all the time. Uh, what was your view of uh, his, his touchdown play? Well, like I said this morning, like I said this morning, I, I was talking to the kids. When your number, when your number is called, make the play. Grow up, guys. It's time for this team to grow up as a family and fight for each other. And so, Kendall, and I told Kendall, he said somebody said, Kendall, call your game, man. Call your game. I said, these kids are ready. We had a meeting, special team meeting, seven o'clock this morning. These kids up, flying off, fly, flew for three hours, two hours, two and a half hours yesterday. We had meetings up until nine o'clock, 9.30. Not one kid came in there, sleep out, sleepy or anything. They came in there ready to go bright eyed. I knew at that point, when I stepped in there looking in their eyes, they was ready. So DJ was sick, got the flu, had to get an IV. I said, DJ, you all right? He said, Coach, I got you. So right there, I knew something special today was going to happen. Tim? Coach, had a lot of really important open field tackles from some of your defenders. As a coach who values fundamentals, uh, I guess how pleasing was that to see those guys make some of those plays? It was awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what. You got to give those guys credit, Adazio. Adazio is a heck of a coach. He's offensive line coach by trade, but he's the head coach. Every time you play Boston College, you better bring your big boy pass. And I, I was telling the kids all week long, let's attack. I don't care what the situation is, let's attack the moment. Let's attack the moment. And they did exactly what, the, what we preached. And I told the coaches, I talked to the coaches, defense, let's attack. Offense, let's attack. Special team, let's attack. That was our thing this week, let's attack. And when I said that, it's only one way, the no way. You go right here on the front row the left. Coach, it's your second time around doing this. Did you feel a little more relaxed, prepared, nervous, anything different from the last time? Well, I felt I had to do a job. When I have 85 players on this team, you got other coaches, the university, the AD and the president, and trusting me to be the, the interim head coach, I felt I had to do a job. I, I've had great mentors along my coaching career and playing career. Bobby Bowden, Mickey Andrews, taught me a lot. The situation occurs, you got to attack it like no other. That's it. Blake? Coach, to, to have an opportunity next week to get the six wins and qualify for a bowl game, what does that mean for what's the game? Well, I would like to say this right here. We're not thinking about a bowl game now. We're not trying to be funny. We're thinking about tomorrow. Going in, getting treatment, working out, and they're not academics, study all tomorrow, and then we'll get on to Alabama State this week. You know, I haven't seen any film on Alabama State. That's our main thing, one day at a time and one week at a time. We get there, Lord willing, we're there. But our main concern is getting back home safely, 
and working on Alabama State starting tomorrow evening. But uh, you guys added Coach Levitt to the on the field staff this week. Um, in what ways did he help this week? And looked like was he on the, in the box because I didn't see him on the sideline. Yes, yes, yes. We elevated uh, Coach Levitt this week. He helped in the box with uh, Coach Harlan Barnett. And Coach Levitt has a lot of energy. Funny, he's an old school coach, my type of coach, and I love it. And we appreciate him. We appreciate Coach Levitt. He brings a lot of energy, and it was awesome. And actually, he was looking at the defensive line a lot. By trade, he's a defensive back. That was, that was awesome. He did a great job with us this week. Anything else for Coach? No. All right. Yeah. I know it was cold out there, but did the, uh, the Powerade shower at the end feel pretty good for you? felt great, <laughs> really. <laughs> it cooled me off a little bit. But doing the moment like that, man, the kids want to congratulate you. It is what it is. It, it was cold. It felt great. <laughs> hey, if I can feel like that every time, our kids, our, our kids being very successful, things happen for the kids, I'll take a, a Poway bath anytime for our kids feeling great. Say it again, man. I'm so proud of this football team. Seriously. And we're going to stay with that zone one way, the no way. Win, lose, or draw. We're going to fight. All right. Thank you.